Hello guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add a texture to a part. Let's start by opening up Roblox Studio. I'm going to create a new game, Classic Base Plate. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. And now we're going to add a part to our game. I'll bring it over here scale we're gonna make it a little bit bigger we're gonna go to our part we're gonna click on the plus sign select texture now you can select which face of the part for the texture to appear on by hovering your mouse cursor over that face I'm gonna select the top after you have selected the face if you like to change it you can select your texture go to the properties window Look for face and you can change it from here. Say if I want to change it to left, I have changed it to left. But I'm going to change it back to top because I want my texture to appear at the top of the part. Next, we're going to go to the properties window. Again, with the texture selected, we're going to look for a property named texture. If you click on that, we don't have a window popping up right now because our game hasn't been published yet. From here, you can either go to the toolbox and copy an asset ID and paste it into here. Or if you would like to upload your own image at this time, you can go ahead and publish your game. I'm going to publish my game to Roblox as. So I'm going to select an existing game. I'm going to publish it to test 026. Confirm it. Click Overwrite. Successfully published. Now I can close this window. And if I go back to my texture now, I can upload an image from my PC, which I'm not going to do right now. So now I'm just going to go to the toolbox. I'm going to select an existing photo that I have uploaded earlier. I'm going to pick the ball. Right click. Copy Asset ID. Go back to the properties window, the texture property. I'm going to click on it and paste into the URL. Hit enter. Immediately, you can see the image has been added to the texture. I can now close my toolbox window. The difference between a decal and a, and a texture is that a texture, you have these properties here, the studs per tall U and studs per tall V. So you can fit as many images on a face as you like. And with, with the decal, you have no option. You, it, it's just going to be one image that stretches to cover the entire face. So here, for example, uh, the default is two. If I change this to one and one, you can see now I have more images on the face of this tile. If on the other hand, I change this to six and six, now I have less images on this on the face of this tile. You also have the offset studs U and uh, offset studs V property in case you want to shift the image. For example, the default is zero. If I change this to three, you can see the image has been shifted to the right. And if I change this back to zero and change the other one, the, the offset stud v to 3 it shifts the other way same as the decal you have the color property so i can select a color for my texture for example blue and also you have the transparency property so you can change the transparency to make it lighter or completely disappear or you can select something in the middle Next thing we're going to do, let's add a texture to the base plate here. So this is my base plate right here. I'm going to click on the base plate, click the plus sign, add a texture. And now go to the toolbox. I'm going to copy the same image, copy asset ID, and go back to my texture. Look for the texture property. Click on it, paste in the asset ID, hit enter. And there we go. Our base plate has been covered with a texture with the image that we have selected. 
Now we can close this window and let's now play and take a look. There we have it. That's our base plate and this is the tile. This is the part that we have put the texture on. Everyone, that's how you add a texture to a part in Roblox. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon.